Hi guys. Um, I'm back. Yeah, been cleaning. I know it's all I ever talk about. Um, got ever got the laundry all caught up. Got the dusting and the cleaning and the vacuuming and dinner done and cleaned up and you know stuff done. Uh, I've got one thing left. It's the bathtub. Anybody want to come clean that? <laughs> Nobody does. Sis said she would, so I'm holding her to that one. Anyway, here's a hot mess. Um, I started this video before, and Uncle Cece came in madder than H-E double hockey sticks. He just dealt with Ticketmaster. He's very upset. Um, he's, he and my sister, because I'm sorry guys, I, I'm not a concert kind of person. I'm not really a music kind of person. But, um, there's two concerts that they're going to, um, we're going to Dallas at the end of the month, end of next month. Um, and there's two concerts he wants to go to. One of them, Derek Webb. You know, he's a good musician, if you like music. Um, $12, I think, per ticket for, for him. Great. Um, then husband had to get online with Ticketmaster to uh, purchase the Mute Math tickets. Derek Webb's on Sunday. Mute Math is on Thursday. And he's going to be working you know, in between and, you know, around those times. Um, work is paying for the trip to Dallas because he has work to do there at the Dallas office. So, um, dealt with Ticketmaster. The tickets are $22 a piece. And then they add another $24 hidden charges on top of that. Yeah, so two tickets, and he's paying about $80 for those two tickets that they list as $22 a piece. So he is steaming mad over that. Um, I hope it doesn't ruin his experience um, at the concert. But, you know, Ticketmaster, uh, uh, for all intents and purposes, are thieves. Yeah, I said it. Anyway, uh, hopefully they'll still be able to enjoy their their experience. Uh, not much to tell here tonight. Um, very tickled. I'm caught up. Now, if I can stay caught up until then, all I've got to do is pull out the luggage and get that going. But I'll wait till uh, now. I'll start a couple of weeks ahead of time. Uh, getting things ready and uh, you know because we're going to be there from that Friday or Saturday to we'll be there about you know seven days let's see yeah, yeah. we'll be there well and so you got to take a lot of clothes for that <clears throat> And you know me, I gotta, everything must be as close to perfect as I get but when we leave. So anyway, I am sore. The calves of my legs are sore. Um, we went to the park Sunday and, you know, roamed around, Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember, roamed around, um, we found a new part of the park. We didn't know, you know, it was two separate parts, east and west part of it. Uh, and so we checked the other part out and it had an overlook that you could climb up. It had this little switchback lane, you know, paved up to this nice viewing deck and it was a beautiful view. Um, sis and husband went ahead and I acted like I was going to sit down. 
Hiking is not my thing. But instead, I saw this little thing up the face of this hill. And I mean, I'm climbing rocks. Purse over my arm like a little old lady. It was, if anybody had videotaped it, it would have been, I would have hunted them down. <laughs> uh, got up to the top of it, had to climb between the fence railing and met them. I thought I was going to beat them. No. They were just looking at me funny when I got up there. So, <clears throat> and I was out of breath. Now my calves are so sore that if I wiggle my toes wrong, it makes me scream. I have to, to get off this love seat, I have to get in the floor and then push up with my arms on the arms of the couch and love seat. Self and love seat, yeah. So, yeah, I wa I'm walking lightly. I'm very careful. Um, bending over a tub is not something I'm going to do right now. Uh -huh. So, anyway, that's what we did this weekend. Can you believe it's Monday already? The weekend flew by. It's not fair. <laughs> fair is a silly word anyway, isn't it? Um, it's not fair. So anyway, we did that. I didn't do my shopping. I'm trying to make do. You know, I made cheese scones for breakfast this weekend. So that's what my husband's having for breakfast for yesterday and today. And I have to, I mean, today and tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I have to go to the grocery store and grab some yogurt. But yeah, I had several scones left and four pieces of sausage. And the scones, I this time I did little bitty ones. It's just about as big around as a piece of sausage is, you know, a sliced piece of sausage after you cut it off and then cook it. You know, it draws up. So it's about perfect for that. So, But still, um, got to go get some yogurt because I'm... Just got to. And there's a couple of other things we've run out of. But it's little things. I did the grocery shopping for a couple of weeks a few days back. And, and you know, you run out of bread, you run out of eggs, you run out of milk. Stuff like that. So, we've run out of tang. That's the end of the world there. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. That's that's my check in with you guys for for today anyway. And um I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a wonderful Tuesday. See you later. <laughs>